This video is going to show you the different ways of representing a range of numbers uh, as an inequality or set notation or interval notation. So I put inequality and set notation right next to each other because they're extremely similar. I'll show you their similarities and differences. And uh, interval notation is kind of off on its own. It's a little different, but it's probably the most common and teachers really like to put things in interval notation. So that's the one I would be most familiar with. Second most familiar with, I would go with inequality. All right, let's just see some examples. Uh, essentially what your teacher is gonna give you is they're gonna give you a generally a number line. So you'll have something like this. All right. So they're giving you this range of numbers from negative four to one, and they want you to represent this as an inequality. So the first thing I would do is I would look at these endpoints and realize that an open circle is going to be represented with a less than symbol for inequalities. And also for set notation, and I'll get to the actual examples. I'm just kind of giving you the foundation here. Uh, set notation, it's going to be a parentheses. And then I would also highly advise that you realize a closed circle for inequalities is going to have a less than or equal to symbol, and it'll have brackets for set notation. So let's go ahead and answer this, this one that I drew up here. It goes from negative four to one. Well, you always want to put your little number on the left and your big number on the right. So it's gonna look like this, negative four. It's an open circle, so I'm gonna be using this uh, less than symbol. You put X in the middle. Then this next one, where it's going is one, and at one it's a closed circle, so you're gonna to wanna to use a less than or equal to symbol. And then you just put the one. And that would be uh, this represented as an inequality. Now, I said inequality and set notation were very similar. All you have to do is put a little squiggly, and then there's an X and then a line. It means X such that, and then you just copy uh, the inequality over again. So it would look exactly the same. So negative four less than x less than or equal to one. And then you just close it with the squiggly. Uh, the main takeaway from this is that it's the exact same as inequality. It just has this first part, the x such that, and it's in squiggly lines. Okay, and then interval notation is different than these. It looks like this. Uh, you put your little number on the left still, so negative four. It's an open circle at negative four, so I'm gonna be using parentheses outside of that. You put a comma in the middle, then you put your bigger number, which is one in this case, and then you have to close it with, I'm gonna use a bracket because it's a closed circle, like this. All right, I'll give you another example. This time it's gonna have a, an infinity in it, so let's imagine something like this. No, I don't wanna use one again, we'll use three. Okay, first thing I would do is I would recognize my endpoints. Well, here is an arrow. That means it's going to go left forever. So ask yourself, what number is to the left forever? That's gonna be negative infinity. And then here's my other endpoint, and it's a closed circle. So I know, or at least I should be thinking in my head, it's gonna have a less than or equal to sign, and it's gonna be brackets, not parentheses. So now I'm ready to start answering this for inequality. It would be little number on the left, negative, and this is a problem that I see students do a lot, negative infinity, is your littler number, it's your smaller number. 
it is smaller than three. So you don't want to put it on the right side just because it has infinity in it. No, it is negative infinity, so it goes on the left. So as an inequality, this would look like negative infinity is less than x, which is less than or equal to three. Notice on this, um, on this negative infinity part, I put a less than. You always want to use a less than, aka parentheses for interval notation whenever you have a infinity or a negative infinity. Do not use brackets or, the, or equal to's on infinity. All right, so set notation. This would look like, remember, you just put a little squiggly x such that, then you copy the inequality. Then you close it with the squiggly. And then interval notation. This is the one with the parentheses or brackets. So I'm going to start out parentheses, negative infinity. Again, use a parentheses whenever you have an infinity or negative infinity. And then it goes all the way to three, and then there's a bracket. All right, I'll do one more real quick one with less explanation. Okay, if I saw this problem, I would look at my endpoints. So here I have an open circle. That's going to be a less than symbol and parentheses. And then here, I see it's going right forever. Well, to the right forever is infinity. So that's also going to be, um, it's also going to be a less than symbol and parentheses as well. So no brackets at all on this one. As an inequality, this would look like negative two is less than x, which is less than positive infinity. In set notation, you just add the squiggly x such that, and then you copy the inequality and close it with the squiggly. And then interval notation, at negative two, it's an open circle, so I use parentheses. And then I said for infinity or negative infinity, you're always going to use a parenthesis, not a bracket. So that's what it would look like in interval notation.